Got an update to a News for Jack's I-Team investigation into middle-of-the-night flights dropping off immigrants in Florida. Now, these photos that you see here show one of the flights that landed in our area several months ago. Now there's legislation in Tallahassee aimed at stopping it from happening. And as Mike Vazalinda reports, the state can't stop those who transport the immigrants, but it can't stop the companies from doing business with the state or the local governments. The staff analysis for House Bill 1355, quoting News 4 Jax, says that 78 charter flights carrying unaccompanied children landed at Jacksonville International during a six-month period last year. The number of children that have been locked on airplanes uh, in the middle of the night and left on tarmacs. Bill sponsor John Snyder told committee members the bill is a result of the federal government's failure. That there are individuals from every corner of the earth that no, if you can make it to Mexico, there's an open ticket. The bill goes after common carriers, those who transport people for money, from getting state or local contracts if they were hired to transport immigrants who were apprehended at the border. How many contracts uh, like that are in force? We don't know what we don't know. Advocate Karen Woodall told lawmakers the feds are just following the law. The transport is not illegal. It's required by federal law. Then there was Zachary, a 12-year-old. Why are you attacking kids that look like me? Kids were just kids. 12 yeas, 5 nays, Mr. Chair. The legislation did garner the vote of one Democrat. Outside, Zachary's mother was near tears. We're here to provide for our families. We don't want to do any harm. We love it here. The legislation is one of the governor's top priorities. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Today was the bill's first hearing in the House. It has two more committee stops. There are also two more committee hearings slated for the Senate version.